Why would it be going negative? I believe I asked for this at the council meeting. I said if you had any questions or concerns so that I wouldn't be hit cold turkey. Did you not set, Did you not get my email? I, I got your email. There's what, a few points on here for That's Martin. the only one I did, and that's the only one what's, I got. What's on here that's not in his email or that I didn't stop and talk with you about? Bob, we, we tried to give you every advance notice. I'm just going to be quiet. Well, that's not helpful either. I'm ready to discuss whatever issues you might have. <laughs> or not but I think we have you know we can have plenty of time on this I don't think there's I'll be happy to work on that I don't have any problems sent some uh, emails to uh, Bart who dictated them for me a few of those questions I sent uh, Bob a few as well and um, again this is a Q&A session you know just to figure out what's going on and have a few concerns everybody brought up separate concerns so again this isn't anything negative we just need to try to find a way to uh, find the facts and go from there so, um, Larry, I know you just came in. What, um, we passed out five points and some paragraphs on those points. Anybody else who's following with us? Um, so what I thought we'd do is we touch on uh, one through five, and then everybody just kind of chime in from there. Um, Bob, you as well. Just you know, we'll jump in and I'll start it. Um, I know that uh, there were some questions on the enterprise funds, and I've looked up a little bit on this. And obviously, I'm not the um, uh, professional or expert on this so we're all just learning here so what we're seeing here it seems like that the uh, surplus from the water and sewer accounts can't be used to cover deficits in the general account um, I think that's our first question so uh, it looks like that we have 119,000 surplus in the enterprise funds with uh, used to offset the balance of 59,000 in the general account so let's kind of Go from there. It was Mike Mudd's recommendation that we consolidate both budgets. Okay. Now, where per se both budgets may be consolidated, those funds, revenues and income, revenues and expenses, Renee, Christina, please feel to jump in at any time, are all segregated, which is what the statute says they are specifically within that particular department within water, whether it may be the water treatment plant, the wastewater plant, distribution, water office, or water admin. Everything is segregated. I spoke with Mike. I, yeah. I talked to him and he described what accounts were where. I also spoke with the state auditor on the same topic, uh, and they were both in agreement 
that it's it's not the they certainly need to be segregated in our accounting coding but they don't need to be segregated in terms of bank accounts no, no, bank but account, they need to be funds. segregated in our accounting which they are as which you just they said are, and we're making recommendations based upon the auditor sure we always go by so his audit is gospel so we may have a problem with the auditor or some information there we may need to talk with mike more about this because I did speak with Mike and Mike was said Mike said we were only one of two communities who segregated the funds us and Hannibal correct so you you spoke with Mike since I came and told you Absolutely. I spoke with Mike I wanted to check and with he him. told you that this was Renee fine. was there I had her on speakerphone with him and myself and I asked Mike specifically I said, are we doing anything out of line? And he said, no, we're not doing anything out of line. He says, based on my conversation with Bart, are there things that we could do to maybe streamline things, to allow us to get better information? He said, yes. Did you ask Mike if we could spend the surplus coming from water revenues? He on sees it. This is exactly what we did last year. When when I asked him that, he said, "No, you cannot." I, everything I've read says you. Everything. I mean, we could. Let's but look I'm at not the law. Professional again. I'm, I'm, I just want to make sure we're not in a liable situation. This isn't to raise issues. I just want to make sure we're not in a liable All situation. All I'm saying is that if not, we've done anything wrong, it should have been brought to our attention by Mike. And if it hasn't, then maybe it's time for us to change auditors. And I don't think we're taking monies, take, actually taking money out of water department funds to go to these other expenses. When we're, when you see that, so you're thinking, oh, it's all coming from the water department, but that isn't necessarily true. We have all the other money that comes in on all the taxes, uh -huh. and when we need extra operating money, we're able to transfer it out of that account. When I add up all of those... And all the restricted funds, they're not touched. Everything that's... Yeah, well, it's, it's not that the restricted. That goes for the water department, it doesn't go anywhere else. No, I'm not talking about those those four restricted funds no. that, that we looked at. I'm talking about the all the funds that are used to operate the water and sewer department. Those are considered enterprise funds. There's a state statute that governs them, which maybe we should look at and read tonight, uh, no. 250, 250, 150, that very clearly says these these monies out of out of this. If you make money here, you can't go spend that on general funds. You can't, I can't take that and go buy a police car, for example. I can only use that. To, I can only put that back into the water department. The reason for that is if we were able to say, let's take a hypothetical, let's raise our water rates, we collect a bunch of revenue, and now we can go do things for the general accounts, the uh, state auditor, uh, and in my conversation with Mike, that's tantamount to levying a tax on citizens without, their, without it ever being approved by them. So it seems very clear to me, and I would, I, I think at a minimum, we we need to, we we need more information. I'm I'm, I wasn't privy to that conver the conversation you had with Mike, but it's very you're projecting or pr portraying a very very different response than I got from Mike. What I got from the state auditor, what I've seen in in audits of city funds, and. That's not my bailiwick. Right, so maybe we and need that's help. That's why our auditor is the one, and we've done it, and we've used it for the past five years. Which is concerning. And we have done the combined budget for a year now. We've got one year. This will be number two under our belt. And nothing in the auditor's report has given me any reason to suspect that we're doing anything out of line. If you want to have Mike come in and speak, hey, have at it. 
I, I definitely do because I'm getting a very different reading from what he told you than what he told me. Or when was it you spoke with Mark? Uh, was it Thursday? Or Thursday? Thursday? We spoke yeah. with him on Wednesday or Thursday. We spoke with him on Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, really, I'd, I'd love to be involved in that joint conversation right. because it's very, very different than the one that that I had with him, what I read, and what I had with State Auditor. Let me say something. Um, uh, we're not changing orders tonight. No, we're not. We're and not there's that. nothing we can do with this here. We're not changing right? what? Auditors. Uh, right, sure. And there's nothing we can do with your points that you've got here. Tonight we're supposed to be reviewing the budget. I am. Not but really. You're you're making statements. You're no, not getting no. Tom, you're not. This is reviewing the budget. Well, Tom, if it, it really is, it's it's it's. it's we're, we're trying not to just have something slapped in front of us to check off on it. This is doing our due diligence. This is what we were brought on to do. So it's not. It's we're not trying to impose anything on anybody. We're just looking for some answers. If this is a liability, and that was my concern. That's my concern because at the, the end of the day, said, if the auditor that, said it's okay. not a liability, it's not a liability. Okay. okay. I do not believe that the auditor has said that. I believe that when I spoke with the auditor and when I spoke with the state auditor, not just the city auditor, both of them expressed that this is a liability. That is definitely a budget concern. It is the number one thing on this list. And it and depends upon the criteria that you give them. That's correct. Okay. Then then let's have that conversation, right? I don't have a problem with it. If you want to bring Mike mm -hmm. in, bring him in. I do. Well, uh, uh, while we're all sitting here, let me make something straight. As one councilman, you have no authority whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You're a citizen. When you make a request to do anything, one councilman cannot come in and request it and get it done. If you want to change a procedure that's happening in the city of Louisiana, you come in with a group of five. Is there somewhere that we have had a situation where someone has acted as one? You. Doing I'll give what? You, for instance, you don't write Mr. Rapp and tell him you want his opinion. I cannot he, request that of Mr. No, Rapp, despite the fact that in open session he said was, he's let me welcome. Finish. Let me finish. Okay. This, this is off. It's yes. off the it's bus, way off. subject. I'm just we're saying, back on yeah. yeah, we're going yeah. to, but Look. no request. Look. He don't work for you. He works for the city. The city attorney works for the city. You want something, you come in here, you tell Bob or you tell me. Now, if you want to force the issue, you get five of these councilmen to say, I want an opinion. Tom. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. this, how to uh, ask Mr. Rapp something has nothing to do with the yeah. budget. So no, we can get back to the budget. He asked for an example, and I gave him one. And, and I would right. question that. Okay, let's, go on. let's move on with that. And then we'll right, let's, that later. Let's, let's, keep right, let's go back to the budget. Okay, let's and let's keep this let's keep this on point. Okay, Let, let's get through this and, and be civil because we've had enough of the circus for the last months through the elections and everything else. Let's let's the whole point of what we're doing here is for all of us to come together and get on the same page. We're all out for the same thing. I'm, I'm tired this, of turning into personal attacks and, and nonsense. I'm agreeing. If you want something like this done and you want to streamline it, it should come up in finance committee, not in a work study when you're looking at the budget. These are about this the budget, about Tom. The budget. It, it, listen, We're saying, okay, you want to look at the budget? I'm trying the, to make a point. Hang on, Bart. I'm trying to make a point to what we're looking at. We haven't even got the number one. Okay, let's just let's just work together, stay objective, and, and then we'll see an we, opportunity to read this. Okay, we'll help. And if it's a problem, we'll you know we'll we'll help elaborate a little bit on it and, and explain. I made one request. One request. Okay, to the last council meeting. Then we'll go over and what I said. And that was that I be informed. Okay, then we'll just go Just not verbiage. We'll go over what I said. What do you mean just not verbiage? You mean handed you Bart verbiage? Bart is saying that okay. he covered everything in conversations with okay. me. So the issue we're having now with number one in the enterprise funds is we need to we need to speak with MUD and get some kind of definitive answer that will help all of us. Okay, apparently you all talked to him after Bart did. Um, you know, we'll speak again with him. Um, if, if that's an issue, again... 
it's a good it's a good problem to have when we bring up this issue with concern over liability to our our city. It's not that we're saying, well, oh well, we just want to point out who did wrong, who did what. I, I really think that's over. I really do. So let, let's figure out ways that we can, it's not streamlining, it's not efficiencies, it's just covering our bases. That's all. That's why we're all here. You guys have been here a little bit longer, so you know a little bit more, so you'll help clarify some things for us. Okay? Deal? Everybody okay with that? Okay. Uh, any other questions on the enterprise funds from the council? For number one, any issues, concerns before we move forward? Um, one of the things that I was looking at as well is projected revenues. Um, with the loss of some income and, and within the budget, you know, we're looking at Kroger and, and that's not going to be back till, what did we say, spring of next, of 2014, correct? Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of a lack in, in income for the year. Um, you know, let's, let, let's look at a few examples on here. I know that we've looked at, and again, I don't want to be the bad guy, but as being in finance, you know, when you're in certain situations economically, sometimes you have to look at spending. Um, some of the revenues we're looking at were based on last year's projections. I mean, that's how a budget is, is ran. Now, if we go off of actual numbers, I'm sure we're probably going to see those as lower. Um, some of the points I made, we're looking at $135,000 discrepancy to the negative 1% sales tax, it's 40000 the half percent sales tax at thirty-five thousand, Amron UE franchise at thirty thousand, the use tax thirty thousand. Where are you at? I, I, uh, we're on projected revenue. Second page second, on projected revenue. Projected revenue on the second page, of, second paragraph down. My my point. Long story short is we're we're going to have less money coming in, and part of my concern, Bob, we're going to have less money coming in. Um, are there expenditures that we can help to create more of a surplus? after we know those that income's going to be coming in, let's say in 2014, from Kroger. So we, we've landed that deal. We know more money's coming in. I want, obviously, let me make this very clear, because again, I'm only one person. I want new police cars. I love seeing that Dodge drive around. I want new trucks. I want this town to, to thrive. But I want, I want to also do it responsibly. If we get in a situation that we weren't planning for, such as Kroger leaving, then I, I think we need to really take a look at um, our outgoing expenses for the next year. Now, where, where I'd like to see, and again, I'm new to this, so I'm looking at this budget, where I'd like to see some, um, basically some emergency preparation funds in times like this, and how we're growing those, I, I don't know. Is there anything that we have right now set up for those surplus funds that are just continuing to grow every year? Do we allocate, let me, let me lower my question, do we allocate a certain amount of money into those reserves every year, or is it basically just whatever we have left over in certain areas? There are always capital improvement funds. Every year, funds go into those. Okay. So it, it's a done deal every year. We don't work off of, we have never, in the five years that I've been here, flown by the seat of our pants just trying to and come up in the red. Um, everything is... <coughs> Christina and Renee and Sharon and I go back and forth and back and forth continually. And it's just not me, because there's no way I can know half the stuff that they know. Right. So, um, I haven't done it yet, and if I do, then you have the prerogative to remove me. Oh, I'm not done. This is not an attack by any means. No, my, I'm my, not saying it is. My, I'm just saying that. I, I think you're doing a good job. Again, I'm just looking for, I want, I'm looking long term. You know, I have kids and things like that. So, in, in my place, what I'm I understand. For. And I'm the only one that knows what projects are out there. Man. You've still got an issue with the water treatment plant, the LT2. We have gotten that postponed at least till 2015. So, we're in good shape there. We requested an extension based upon this study and the monies that we expended to have this study completed. So we're looking at it and we factor in 
the lost revenues, lost taxes. Well, but you can't factor them out on a projected budget if, if it happens during that year, correct? We not something, not we something have, like Kroger. We have a mid-year review, and those those have been, so those all get plugged in and factored in. The mid-year review is usually the actual budget. It revises the budget halfway through it, and we do that. Okay. It's a more accurate The mid-year review? Yes. Are these numbers um, on the revised fiscal year 12 13? Page 11. Bob. Those uh, are our On page 11. And those are based on that revised, yes. those revised numbers six yes. months ago. When I look at the actual report that we got that would be 11 twelfths of, of this, we wind up with um, some significant discrepancies, you know, if we look at what's closer to actual. Uh, and it appears to me that, for instance, the 1% sales tax is about $40,000 inflated here. The, five, the half cent sales tax is about $35,000 inflated. The Marin UE franchise is about $30,000. The use tax is about $30,000. Do you look at what we collect Budgetary. monthly? Hmm? If Do you look at what we collect monthly on it? When I look at where we are on look the... Look at what you collect okay. on monthly, and then we do... A 12-month prediction based upon monthlies over a set period over of time. Last, over last year's yes. real, yeah. real budget. Right, right. So, so you're pretty confident that these are, are accurate numbers that we're going to... So this month, we'll see these, the actual numbers sh should be like these. Is that a report right? coming out this month, that mid-season report? That no, that comes out in <clears throat> January. Renee, comes out the first part of January. Renee, Renee covers yeah. June, July, August, September, we're gonna get October. The, we're going to get the real budget, we one do, year budget. We do a work study in December to look at the We have a pass. Let's put it in So I, I, guess I'm, I guess I'm a little thick. I'm, I'm not understanding. We have real numbers as of I can this, understand your question okay. this <laughs> month. Fall, uh, short fall, shortcomings. If they do, they do. And well, it, it's just that that winds up. That's one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. The numbers that well, I you just would have mentioned. You would show me all that because I was not privy to that. Okay. And, well, you know, the budget, Bart, is a speculated budget. Sure. Okay. That's why you have actual and what you predict on your budget. Right. And at the end of the month. You can look and see how close you call that. Sure, or at the end of the year or any time period. Right. Yeah, but at mid-year. Well, we could do that now. Any, huh? We could do that now, and I believe we would. What I'm saying is I think the numbers we're using to estimate our income are higher than what, what we ought to be using. They're not realistic. And the reason that I think that that's is... That's in your opinion. No, I, I, I'm with him. I, I mean, again, um, that's all due respect. Or, or we can, why don't we all look at those numbers and then we can see if it's in all of our opinions, which which is what a work study's for, right? Doing work. So I, I, I know it, that's what this is, is could, work. Could I, in the past year, how far have you been off on that? We've come out in the black every year. I mean, on the numbers he's talking about there, you, you said you're inflating them in the past year. In, no, I don't think they're... I don't. In individual accounts, I don't know. I just, would have to look at it. Just Ray to be, would, Renee would have those figures. Just to be clear, yeah. Monroe, I don't think he's inflating it. I think what we're using are numbers that are estimates from six months ago, and we have numbers that are a month away from being real. So we have we have some pretty realistic data that we could use instead of these numbers, and if we do that, then I think we see that we're not really hitting these marks, and to the to the tune of one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars, which is a couple of trucks and a police car, right? It's not a small amount. So I'm just wondering if maybe we should <coughs> revise these and look at the budget with more accurate data. Revise them down. Revise them to taking into consideration. He wants, his, he our, wants some more accurate, mechanics. more accurate numbers instead of being speculation. I'm on page 11. Well, can, can I give a hypothetical? Sure. Here's a hypothetical in, in lay terms. If 
if we know that there's going to be certain gaps, you know, maybe maybe we'll be close. Hopefully, we will. Obviously, but with some sales tax and, and some issues coming from things that we've seen happen in town this year, um, and the projection of not having that revenue until 2014, why would we not want to do a little more planning with some of our bigger expenditures? You know, why not plan for those long term from 2014? So let's say we know that you're going to hit the lottery in 2014. Well, we know you're going to have more revenue, so I'm going to be a financial advisor and I'm going to call you a lot more. I, that's a joke. Um, no, that's okay. But my point is, from the planning side of things, also with surpluses, you know, that's something I, I, I'd like to see as well, more on a planning side of things and, and put a certain percentage away. Um, again, it's just more of a cushion for us as a town for planning for what we don't know is coming, for planning for risk. Um, you know, again, just in the last two months, I've seen, a, a, you know, some of the bills that have come in and, and we plan accordingly for those. But again, we can't assess risk based on, you know, year to year. There's only so much we can do historically. Before we see another Kroger or we see an Orschelins or something like that happen, I'd like to be prepared and have a little more in our, in our surplus. That's just so, me so what, what you're saying, and uh, since we lost Kroger, this 1% and this half a percent sales tax may be lower. I think so. I think it could be for 2014 especially. How much lower do you think it will be? Well, if you... If you look at the real the the real numbers from the last from, May from the May meeting, if I if I go in there and I'm on page one of twenty six, if I look at the actual collected year to date <laughs> numbers, uh, this Mark, this is don't you don't have, it's just our budget from yeah. financial report. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, it's just the financial report. Yeah. Yeah. So. It, and uh, I don't know. Let's take. Um, do you have April? What do I have? You do have May? Yeah. I need So, so this is, this is May. Okay. So that's it. He does it. So I don't know. Here's Amron uh, UE franchise tax, uh, two hundred forty-nine thousand dollars. We collected uh, twenty-eight thousand dollars in April. I don't know how that comes in monthly. Does that? Or how much more would we expect in the last month? Well, that's probably not going to change there. You think? It's six percent or whatever. It is. It's six percent now. Okay, so, uh, and then we've got. Let's see, where am I? We, we're projecting for next year that we'll have $280,000 uh, in that, from from that, where this year... No, I'm, I'm, on, I'm still on the 1%. Okay, um, so, that, uh, that's fine. According to this May... Well, it's only thing two lines here. up. It's two lines up, 359 Yeah, but plus, according to this May thing, that's pretty close if, if you're going to get $31,500 or $600 a month. That would be awful close to four hundred thousand. Okay, then let's look at the let's look at the other and two. And maybe the program is gone in May, right? <coughs> or, or, yeah. Wait a minute, are we still collecting from Kroger? That that end they don't they're not. When did that end, Tom? October, that was like October, September. September, September. Yeah, but they're they're a quarter behind, so it would be That's January's. Correct. So January. Yeah. From January to May. Yeah. So, so we would have shown up in January, but not. So four months we're missing on this of sales tax from Kroger. Yeah. Which yeah. Would, would equal a quarter right. of what? But this May figure here would be right. Seven thousand annually is what we're collecting, give or take. Quarter six hundred. Quarter six. Quarter six. Quarter six. Quarter six. Bob. Nobody's listening. Even though I'm listening, but uh, Kroger is out of there, but they still have the lease on. We still on. No, no. Not sales tax. no, because they're not selling. I factored in no sales tax whatsoever. Okay. I'm just trying to stay with you guys. I'm oh, you factored that in the budget for? Mm -hmm. Take that in the 12. Okay. Well, that answers the question. I mean, that's that's where I had a gap. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, again, how far behind were you know, on the one percent last this month? Yeah, this month looks better. better. You know, so I'm going to say that it's a speculated budget. 40,000. We actually run off good figures. Is that right? Uh, so they're in deficit the at 40,000. Uh, I'm happy. What's your, uh, you know, it, it, again, it's not discrepancies. It's trying to implement some, some ideas, okay? And it's not something you can do now, but if, 
again. Yeah, well, my idea of what we were looking at the budget was based on the numbers for last year. Uh, I, I didn't realize that you, with the new budget, that you didn't budget in. Crooked. And my suggestion to you is bring this up to the finance committee. Well, I want, it, but see, and, and you're right. But which finance committee? We, we're on such a, a the one percent. I got. I mean, a half a percent. I got off a little bit. But I, I, okay, and but you recognize that we're not only trying to meet two hundred thousand dollars. We're raising that to two fifteen, and then in. In the franchise tax, we're expecting that to go up to 280. So I just I wonder why. Why are we going from 255,000 when when we're maybe not even going to hit these marks that we've got down for fiscal year 12, 13 for this year, and we're looking at what we're expecting next year, and we've raised them uh, significantly. You know, is is there because a thought we, in that? Because Bob feels and I feel. That when Press Journal goes out to Industrial Park, uh, we got some more work coming down there at Dino. Uh, we got people that's coming into Louisiana. Uh, you have to speculate, and that's what this is—a speculation budget. And it's been pretty damn accurate okay. for years. Well, I make that before uh, this monthly thing here. Uh, Amber and UE would be. Where you would be low because that if you kept this uh, 28 4, that would be more than uh, but I, I'm just trying to keep up with you there. Sure, on the Ameren on the six on the uh, franchise for Ameren depends on your weather in the summertime, depends on the weather in the wintertime. If they sell a lot of gas, that's on the franchise tax. If they sell a lot of electricity, that's on the franchise tax. How, how Dino's got a one million dollar. It was a one million dollar <coughs> permit application for improvements. Right. So, so the and twenty five. Well, I, I want to know how this twenty eight in May huh? would compare with the. I was going to say part of it's in the city limit. On, on the, the twenty eight thousand four hundred dollars. Yes, it got in May. How's that? Not Dino Bundy on it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to figure that out. And, 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 uh, Sharon, you or who could you, uh, mm -hmm. Renee, you get the Ameren check. It deviates every month. Yes. See, and we actually had it only figured at twenty-one thousand for April, and yes. it came in at twenty-eight thousand. Mm -hmm. Right. So we were to the good at seventy-one hundred or something. Good. Twenty-one. Because it's going to depend on. So it. you're and you're for in the, for the year. We're only looking at. Still needing 5381 to meet what was budgeted for, okay. this, for this year. So you just you have that for under 21 instead of the 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so you're at you're indicating that the twenty five thousand dollars in addition to what we did this year for the franchise tax, for example, is premised on the fact you believe work will be done at Dino Noble that will produce twenty five. Bungie. Bungie. Uh, but, Bungie. Okay. At Bungie, that will produce twenty-five thousand dollars worth of new income. Is that correct? Yes. No. Okay. Well, I mean, the, the, you because can see without Bungie, that information why Bungie, I would wonder. Half of, and that's the difference. It's just the knowledge base. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't tell you everything. You know that. I mean, I could, but I would be here all night. And, but. If you would bring these questions to me, I'll be more than happy to reply to them. Send them to me, email, however, call me, whatever. I will be happy to reply to them. I don't have a problem. I, I do believe, and, and I mentioned it a little bit in number five, that uh, I do believe we need to consider how we handle this budgeting process because I think something like a $25,000 you know, speculative gas based on an application down there is an important thing for us to know. <coughs> it has when to be we're, done every year. I mean, that and every every, every year, I, every year, I believe we should be giving more attention to this years, budget I've than been here we do. Christine and I sit down. That's there why we you pay Bob each other up. to do a good budget, and he uses Christina and he uses Renee, Renee. And Sharon. Uh, this isn't just a fly by night. I mean, you got big bucks you're talking about. And you got money in reserve. You was asking about emergencies. The restricted funds that we have, 
we don't dig into them because it, if emergency does come up, they like for you to have at least three months of running if you had an emergency. Yeah, we, we dug in a little bit this year to get the HVA system done. But that was approved with council's vote. That was the first time in three years. But we did that to save money. Though. That's correct. Yes, yeah. that's the first time yeah, that was a money, money saving But thing. your ideas and everything, and I'm saying this to you, is good. But not when you're discussing the budget. You got all this here, these everything it's a budget review, but then we got things that they're brought in here. I mean you can pick out like individual different examples. examples. No. Uh, and we're not here to discuss that tonight. We're here to I, discuss I believe we what are. you're looking at. Well, you can disagree. I do. But and that's fine. But there's eight of you. So let's put it to the vote of the eight to see how many disagree. Sure. Absolutely. To address well, we the vehicle, to address the vehicle situation, sound. Yeah. I, listen, again, I'm all for it, but I want, I'm just trying to be financially, fiscally responsible. And so is he. Right. And I don't think he's not. Don't don't think for a second. No, I'm, saying not, I'm I'm just saying it's gotten to the point. The truck that we utilize for the parks and the cemetery is 1986. That, that was my vintage. question. Okay. That is 1986 vintage. Okay. It doesn't have a dump bed. It doesn't work that well for the guys without to dump it. The new truck that we're getting will have a dump bed on it. The and four wheel drive. And it's all four wheel. Every one of these vehicles is four wheel drive to except for the police car for it. The truck out at the distribution, that is a nineteen ninety five to the uh, vintage. It has had more repairs on it. And you can shake a stick at. What we're running to, running into, is where repairs to keep these old vehicles running just aren't worth it. You got to train. And we've got a. And I want what I would like to see is initiate a program where we cycle vehicles out at an appropriate amount that would of be time. Great. Mm -hmm. That would be great. I'd love to see yeah. that. That's no, actually, and, and that's all I'm looking for. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the police cars. We've hung on to some cars so many for so long. They just been one thousand and two thousand and one thousand dollars five six times a year to death. Mm -hmm. And you you need to so, remember the police cars. There's three or there's four shifts a day. And they all run, there's 24 hours in a day. And they all run eight hours on these shifts. They've got a lot of miles and they run them every day, each shift. You can shake I your head and say no, but, nah, but that's, that's what I want to do. I, I shake my head. John, that's John. what I want to do is try to get in, get into a budget where we cycle that's what I'm equipment looking. in and out in mm -hmm. a periodic my, my point, time frame. My point on this. Again, is to see that on, on more of a planning side, even from sure a surplus and reserve. If we allocate in the budget X amount of dollars a year for economic development, things like that will help us, again, just from a planning standpoint, sure. I don't care if it's 10 years down the road, it's going to help us hit targets. Um, and if we need to, you can draw from that money on, on other things for emergencies, but it'll help us hit targets. A, again, a fund for police vehicles, city vehicles. I don't care what. Everybody's going to have a different idea, but those are things I think we can start implementing in these budgets year to year. Sure. I got no problem. Really, with that. And, and then balance it from that point is is my it, I guess. I long, have no long no qualms about doing that. You were going to say something. I'm sorry. Um, I the buying three big purchases in one year to me is not going to be rotating them out but, just just okay minute. okay and I understand because we tried to implement the buying the new police car every year one a year a few years ago this I don't know and I see that you know that they're old and that you're spending money on on um, repairs but I I'm thinking maybe if we instead of buying them outright do a lease purchase over you pay more. You pay more. Oh, sure. pay you know, know I just, I don't, I, I don't think buying three <coughs> that big in one year is. Mm. 
you know, with the budget being out. as tight as it is. And, and the only thing I was, is the only thing I wanted to add to, to the fact was that they are not doing I think it's I'm more wrong. than 25 a year mm -hmm. per car. And your lease all is good if you put 12 out. We're done with Stark. We no longer have a the Stark principal payment, which was what? Fifty some odd yeah. thousand. Yeah. We no longer uh, have a payment question. on the jetter, mm -hmm. which was twenty one thousand. Okay. So basically, yeah. that's why I went into purchasing these because <coughs> because we were used to paying that X number of dollars, mm -hmm. but it'd be a one time hit and one time only. Mm -hmm. Seth, so, I, I just wanted it. Or, are we going to tear this one up and start over? Or are we going to implement what you're talking about? Is that what you want to do? I, I absolutely don't want to do that. I, I'm trying to. Well, I'm no. I'm just getting this. You're talking. Uh, is this? You're talking about what you want to do? In this all started. Budget? Me digging into this more all started with the idea of what was no, going I'm, on. I'm with not those. No, no, no. I know, I, and I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying I, I looked at the enterprise funds, which mm -hmm. caused me to look at maybe some more efficiency. I'm not talking about that. You're not answering. My, uh, I'm not understanding your question. You're wanting, right. to, you're, you're wanting to start a, a fund that we buy a vehicle every year, but it's not in this budget. So it's not in this budget. You want to implement in this budget? I would love to see it in this budget, but I don't think it's a it's no. an absolute necessity. We, we yeah, do that with mm -hmm. in each and every department. There is a large equipment and small equipment replacement. Is there a percentage, or is you're it just still, more? I, I had a question. You're not answering. Do <laughs> I? No, no. I told you I do not want to do that. I don't want to do that. All I'm saying is, again, I'm looking for efficiencies. Would I like to do that if I could? Yes, but I don't think it's a reality. You're making suggestions right for now. the future. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm with you. Sorry. I understand. Yeah, and whether it be if you want to do it from a lease purchase uh, vantage point or do it every X number of years where you purchase a particular piece of equipment so it gets rotated out say you want to rotate every piece of equipment mm -hmm. police cars it doesn't work that i know having been a police chief but in some of the other equipment you could do it on a eight ten year ba a ten year basis sure. would be fine okay well, it's just like you know coming up the sweeper i can't tell you we probably dumped eight to ten thousand dollars in that sweeper this year alone, and to buy another one, <laughs> you're looking at oh. quarter of a million. Oh, is it really? Is that hot? Uh huh. I'm about one fifty. Okay. Go ahead, sir. I have one more question um, for myself, and then we can anybody else can jump in if you guys don't mind. Um, it, it, under planning, we're talking again. This falls under the same kind of category, but I know under Section 250, 150, um, we have to plan for the depreciation of the wastewater treatment facility. Right. Do, again, is there something in place that has us planning for that or funds for the depreciation? Not in. I, I spoke with um, a few people. Not in uh, updates, but actual funds. For the depreciation to keep that updated, because I think isn't that where we kind of fell into some issues? Here I'd have to check with Steve Gale on that one. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to know I that. that. Was in the yeah, uh, I think they do have a plan. And I believe it's under the capital improvement, but I have to check but, with uh, Steve Gale, Gale of G O E H L of Gilmore and Bell, who set up the bond issue for us. And you know, you said something there, Sal. I want to bring you back on that. Yeah. Uh, Maintenance and yeah. upkeep was made on the yeah. on the wastewater plant, but the plant was built in 1953. The fault that happened with the wastewater plant was that there wasn't any planning for a replacement in the future, which would fall into the situation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. That long-range plan. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, is there a certain amount of warranty goes for this plant? Uh, um, I'd have to look at the specifics of it. Now. I'm sure there is on the on on the basin and everything yeah. else. Yeah. So well, I, again, um, I'd like to get into that a little more. I'd like to see, obviously, with what we've had to deal with the last uh -huh. ten years, yeah. and yeah. we'll look come at in and look at. Okay. 
I think you need to get into that down more. I'd like yeah. to see you get into that. I'll be happy to turn over anything and everything I got. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, I got a couple. Um, sure. sure. And I'm sorry, Bob, I just had a moment this morning, and I've been gone all afternoon to, to look at this, and this is when I came up with these questions, okay. which you could have answered. Um, the employee bonding, I didn't see except for one, no bonds where they're bonded, like Christina should be bonded, right? And Renee, I'm not. It's all done under one lump. One lump. One lump. Mm -hmm. okay. one lump. okay. The police and the police. That's the police is all under one. The and then all, all of us are, is all. Uh, Renee's is the only one that's separate. Hers had to be separate for some reason. Okay. But everybody else falls under like. Like I said, I would have called one of the two of you yeah. this morning. And um, Renee, you probably can answer this one. On in the police on page twenty-two, the nine one one funds for. And I know this is going back, but I was just curious why in the 11 12, the 10 11, 11 12, there, it was only half of what it should have been. They didn't pay. Because the request wasn't submitted. Yeah. That's what I figured it was. Uh, That's $25,000. What happened? $2,500. $2,500. $25,000. Total. Total. Yeah. Right here, page yeah. 22, that we missed out on. And Rich. Page? Because we just didn't Rich. We missed out on half. Yeah. Who, how, who, who, what happened here? The police chief was supposed to request that money and it didn't get done. When, when was it needed to be done? In, in the 10 and 11 and 12. It's done every quarter. And it wasn't done. That's a problem. Yeah. Okay, and the other, so the only other. 2500 or $25,000? $25, $25, total. That's the total. Total. Uh, between total. the two years. It's sixty-two fifty quarter. Every quarter. 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 Yeah. Yes. But it, then we collected half of what they should have for those two years. Okay, the the biggest one of the big problems I have is the economic development budget, and you've got this is page seven, only nine thousand nine nine three hundred for salaries. There is no way on God's green earth you're going to find somebody to take that position for that amount of money. I beg you differently. Give me permission to advertise, and I will show. You. I don't think we're ready to well, advertise on that just yet. But well, I'm that's just... your opinion. What kind of you know, you was hollering before about an economic developer and a, a PCDA. Excuse me, I don't think I was hollering. I said I think it's necessary. Right, and the, right. The, uh, economic direct uh, developer, we do need. Yes. And you can do it on a part-time basis. Yes, but I don't think you're going to find somebody qualified to do that job for that amount of money for a year. Give me a shot. Oops, sorry. Well, okay. I have. I, I also have that concern that, um, and perhaps it's a matter of sort of the vision we have for this person. Um, but well, we've got specs for them. But I know qualifications. What are they? Bit. But I know that. I hire someone in my office and pay them ten dollars an hour, and I know what I get for that, and they're part time. I've got them. And I really question that we are trying to handle our economic development initiative as a pro priority for the city. It, it is so fundamental to every other problem we have that this is not a part time job in my mind. This is not. A small minimum wage, nine dollar an hour wage job. This is a professional, full time person that is a significant expense to the city, and will produce a significant benefit well, that far outstrips that to the city. So I bl I bring it back to what the city's priority is when budgeting for this, and what our policies are in terms of helping direct. What's the best thing for the city? I, I think that a $9,000 part-time person, we're throwing away our money. I think I that... I disagree with I, you. I understand you do. So I think that we need something far more robust. To make a decision. Well, can we... Can I ask everybody else? Kind of what you... I, I don't want to make a decision. Not a decision. I'm just curious yeah. what everybody's thinking. Because I, 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 I'd like to see the specifications. I definitely would like to yeah. see what we're, what we're hiring and why and what we're, they're going to be utilized for. Is it a planning initiative? I've got any number of them you can pick a city from and oh, okay. choose to your liking. 
Yeah. And basically, and I just went on, went out and pulled up job descriptions for economic development coordinator, which well, is that's what you're at. No, not necessarily. Well, I mean, if we're well, going to, it just depends about. upon part time. I mean, but it's all listed. I can make it available to you. I yeah. I mean, I, I'd like to be able. Well, I, mean, I think Bart, we ought to have to agree on it. Bart, did you uh, were you able to look up any? Anything in that economic development kind of type position for any municipalities? Even no, it, it just it seems so disproportionately out of the ballpark really to does. me that I can't I, I, don't, I can't fathom that for nine thousand well, dollars you can I've get a cup in economic I've development. I've got a couple of applicants that both got degrees and said they'd be glad to put in an application for it. So, like I said before, give it a test. Put it to the well, test. like like I've said before, it's our job to help plan and, and direct policy and I think that nine thousand dollars is not an adequate well, that's what you suggest, I, mean. I, I think that we probably need to be looking in the neighborhood of twenty five thousand no, dollars at not, least no, every year. Not for a chair. Part time? Uh, no I think we could probably do something full time yeah. in that neighborhood. <coughs> but that's that's going to be a full time person that can focus on this and bring professional skills to the table. And what are we going to expect of them? That's well, that's that all needs to be worked out. Current. That all needs to be yeah. worked out. But I think that the that's issue that warrants draft up. Yeah. The issue warrants that level of concern for Louisiana. And I, but I think that that what we would expect out of that person should be decided on before we decide where they should know where they're going. We can't hire somebody and, and just throw them in an office and say, no, here you go. No. We, we need to have a plan in place and say, well, standard, this is the plan okay. we want you to work towards, is what I'm saying. Well, you mean, would that be like the plan for the last one? The same plan? The last economic developer? I don't know what the last... I don't, I don't know what you mean. The, the last one had a plan, surely. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the last think economic the, last, really the last economic development model. I don't think was a good one. When was the last time we had one? If you don't mind asking, we ago. had one until uh, eight, August uh, two thousand eleven, and we just we dissolved the position. No, she uh, had wanted full time, and uh, she uh, took a job at a college to teach full time. Did she accomplish anything? <coughs> anything tangible? Back in uh, the enterprise zone. No, she worked with Carolyn Weiscarver and Bob and myself on right, the enterprise. Right, but zone. she was the driving force, and no, she Carolyn was. No, Carolyn Weiscarver was. I worked directly with her, Kathy, and that Tom? is exactly who's. Uh, uh, we, 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 we're scattering around here too much. Yeah, I'll get back to Bart yeah. there. What he was talking about. That, that was what he was talking about. <laughs> He, he uh, you say 25,000. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that is because I'm, I'm aware of another small town that recently did an assessment of their economic development needs and they built a plan for 20, and it cost them $25,000 to do that, to build the plan, not even to hire the economic developer. But that plan specified what we're talking about, which is what should be required of this economic developer, what, what, should, economic developer what should they do and the plan also projected that it would cost about twenty five thousand dollars a year to implement that mm -hmm. strategy I believe that it is absolutely critical for Louisiana right now to be putting effort money energy resources into economic development so if we did that, so I'm ballparking it we revised this budget to pay for that but <clears throat> instead of having fifty nine thousand surplus we'd have 42. I don't believe we have $59,000 surplus so let me say that first. I believe that the enterprise funds can't be mixed as they're shown in this budget. I believe they are being. I believe we're $50,000, $60,000 under. Right? We don't, we, we're in the hole $60,000. But yes, whatever that number is, it, I, I am saying that we need to use, we need to find a way to fund economic development at a professionally competent level. That's all I have to point out. Any other? Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I know this is probably a simple answer, but... Uh, what page are you on? I'm on page 31. And it's the sewer sales. Last year it's just over a half a million. This year it's 270. I know there's just last year. Christina will address this. <laughs> the rest of it is at the bottom and wastewater... Um, debt service. Debt service. Mm -hmm. Debt service. Debt service? Yes. Yeah. 
But sewer sales is the same as they Right, were. but if you remember at the work study um, that we had, about, and I made the presentation, about 60% of the sewer sales needs to go to wastewater debt service to pay back yeah, for the bond. Then, bond. Yeah, the bond. So 415 and 270 is. Did you say 60%? 60, yes. Okay, that's. So that's where it went. Thank you, Christine. I, I did have another question here. It's not much of a question, but uh, is my, when we put the uh, animal control officer on full time, it's my understanding he was supposed to be half animal control, half coats. Coat. But he's paid out of he's paid all out of the police department. Yeah. Animal control. Or animal control. What page are you on again? I'm on page one now. Okay. That should be an issue now. Yeah, no, it's not an issue. I just wanted to know. No, that's uh, we just separated it. Uh, that question was brought up to rather than well, I had the same question. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, because logistically, it's a pain in the butt to yeah. put a I percentage. Have a problem with it. I just yeah. To, it, it's like doesn't. It's do like Kelly Henry half and half. You know, I mean, it doesn't work out a for percentage him to where do Kelly's half and a half. Fire truck driver and a percentage where he's janitor. janitor. No, I'm not going to get into that. It, that. it no. could no. be 70, 30, or I mean, <coughs> but it doesn't always work out well, half and half. half. Well, based on uh, this work study for my questions, they're all answered. Uh, yeah, I would just point out one more thing. Um, I put it under a course of responsible action. Obviously, time is of the essence. Everybody's <laughs> anxious. We're not, no, let me uh, answer that. Can part. I finish this? Yeah, no, please. Thank then you. I'll answer you. I haven't asked a question. Uh, time is of the essence, but reasonable consideration must prevail. Uh, and I recommend, or we recommended when we discussed this, that um, if if there's more work to be done on this, to do it the right way. For instance, making sure that the enterprise, our understanding of the enterprise funds is correct, or making sure that our projected revenues are reasonable. If that requires more time, then we have options. One is obviously we could have more work studies. Nobody likes those. Everybody wants to get out of here as quick as possible. So maybe we need to spread it out over more time. The restriction to our doing that is self-imposed by Section 130030. And we have said that it is the duty of the City Council to appropriate the funds for next year during May. But the only requirement by state statute is, is that uh, it, it, there isn't even that requirement. The, the issue with state statute is, and it's in 67070, says that if you don't get it done, that you automatically adopt last year's fiscal budget. Nobody doesn't get paid. City doesn't come to a screeching halt. Last year, I, this didn't come up, but it had it come up last year when you guys, uh, uh, some of you and, and others, uh, approved it on the 11th of June. It wasn't done in May. You didn't even have the work study until in June, as I recall. Uh, so the business of the city doesn't stop. If I think that one, we need to revise 130030 so that if there's an important fiscal consideration, why are we? I mean, it's not like we don't want this to be done. We all want this to be done as soon as possible. But why are we restricting ourselves? If we amend 130030 such that we can use 67070 and we require more time. We can do that, and that seems reasonable to me. So, I think that that amendment could be given special status given our time that we have right now. If we deem that we need more time to address important issues such as enterprise funds, and then we don't have this albatross of the first hanging over us, we can get the answers we need and do this right. And my answer to that is that you got a good point there. I'm not opposed to that. But in the same token, everybody likes to procrastinate. You set a deadline, you meet the deadline. That's my response. Okay. Uh, let me just say, I, I do agree with Bart on that respect. I, I agree with setting a deadline. I think we're all responsible enough to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we'll procrastinate that. But, uh, you know, I, I, again, I think that does handcuff us. But handcuff us. Um, Especially if you have a whole, if you have a new council with new council members who don't or don't understand the budget, then it gives a coming yeah, in in less than a month. You're having to approve a budget that yeah, you're, you're every not. Year you have a new council. 
Exactly. And so what that's basically just saying <coughs> is, is they have an option if we need yeah. to do what we're doing now. Right. You know, it's so you want to put, postpone this to look at uh, no. Well, I wasn't brought up. Um, well, no, I think I did bring that up. I, I said that we we can by amending one giving special status to an amendment to change the order. To we can by giving special status to amending section one thirty oh thirty. We can allow ourselves a little more time to find out the real answers to enterprise funds. If I mean, I'm certainly not comfortable with where we are with that, and that's a a huge swing in this budget uh, and budgets going forward so let's get it corrected and projected revenue so yes I'm saying we could postpone this by amending that ordinance okay Sam I'd personally like to hear from Mike Mudd I would just on that enterprise issue that's the only issue I'm having right now okay Can so, we'll, uh, yes okay the budget <coughs> last year was approved in May the ordinances weren't done until June. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. Do you work steady over? Uh, unless anybody else, anybody has anything else? Or no, nope. Kathy. Well, I don't. At this city budget review, I don't see my name on that. I'm not. I don't have leprosy. I mean, I would speak with anybody at any time. <laughs> sure. Um, you're welcome to come into my Facebook anytime. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this was the reason I put those names there is so that you knew where the conversation came from. It wasn't to exclude anyone. We moved asynchronously using digital media, which is a very common way to work through these things. We can't all go to the same place at the same time, and this is the result of right, those conversations. You see, when you're, you three worked this out, the rest of us, you just handed it to us. Mm-hmm. Feel free to hand me something. <clears throat> yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to exclude you. I'm trying to help get a framework so that we can have a conversation. Okay. Are we done? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll call a special council meeting for the budget. Call the roll. Mr. Elliott? Here. Mr. Hoffman? Here. Mr. Needman? Here. Mr. Polis? Yes. Mr. Smith? John? <laughs> Here. Mr. Stevens? Present. Mr. White? Here. Mr. Wood? Here. <laughs> okay, you've all heard the conversation on the work study. What is the council's pleasure? I'll entertain a motion. A motion to approve the budget. I'll make a motion to be approved the budget. Can I have a second? Second by Jim Wood. Call the roll. Do, can, discussion? Discussion. Um, is there would would you like to consider amending 130030 to give us more time before making a motion to the approve the budget? How much? Uh, when that has to change the ordinance. We would have to change the ordinance. No, no, no. We can give it special status, and we can do it right now. No, no, I would not. Not right now. Ordinance in front of me. I gave it to you. It's the addition of one line. Uh, would you mind taking just a moment and looking at that line? It's in the handout I gave you. It's the second to last page. It's in markup so you can see what that is. And the change is simply to add one line, which is in the event that the development of a fiscal policy requires more time than no, is available. I'm not okay. The underlined section there? The very bottom. In the event that the development of fiscal policy requires more time than is available before June 1st, the previous year's budget shall be deemed to be reappointed until such time as the budget for the current fiscal year is approved or adopted and filed as required herein. And that paraphrases the verbiage in the state statute regarding this. Paraphrases. It's not exactly... The well, the state statute uh, uses... Uh, it is substantially the same thing. The state statute uses about four times as much space to say that same thing. It describes the budget in about eight different ways. Well, again, I would like to see all that. Before, before I could vote on it, I'd like to okay. read, you know, see all that. So you would, you would rather go ahead? You're comfortable with the enterprise funds that issue? That's what his motion was. And this is my discussion. I'm yeah. Asking. 
Well, before you go to change it, I'd like to read all that. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have had it earlier also. Sure. So one way that you could do that would be to not pass the budget right now and require us to come back and revisit this so that we do the right thing. Why didn't we get this earlier? Well, we've had the budget for about a month, and I can only speak for myself, but I'm still learning how to dissect it. In a month to do that, not being a full-time city employee, Taxing, personally. Well, but, okay. but, but, uh, to answer Bart, uh, you're asking us to change an ordinance and put in language that, that uh, I haven't read. And Would you like you, to? And you're saying that this is not the full <coughs> I'm say, No, I'm saying that is the full language. I'm saying that the state statute, you, and I've got the state statute here, which I'd be glad we could look at. I mean, we don't have some requirement that says we can't take a moment and look at that. I, I'm just giving us an opportunity to make sure that we're doing the right thing as opposed to for some reason that we've just put on ourselves, forcing ourselves to have a vote right now to approve or disapprove a budget where we still have significant questions that have a major swing in the, in the balance of this budget. It's not costing us anything if we give ourselves mm -hmm. A couple of extra days, a couple of extra weeks, whatever time frame to approve the budget. It's not costing us right. Right. It's just time. anything. Some time. Absolutely. Right. Six seventy oh seventy basically just says that the previous year's budget will uh, continue until the budget's passed by the city council. So in essence, that wording. As again, just saying that we'll have a little more time to. Previous well, yeah. budget doesn't didn't factor in the increase in health care that was put into this new budget. How much does that total out to be, Bob? Rough, rough shot. We moved it from forty-eight hundred dollars a year to six thousand per person per employee. Full-time employee. Well, we frequently approve warrants that don't exactly match the budgeted amount. The point is that we would be able to operate with allocated funds that are appropriated for the next fiscal year, which is the requirement. Actually, it's not that we meet those numbers as frequently we have not. Well, I'm confident that we're in compliance with the auditor. Yeah, That's the only statement I'll make. What would that do to the, the insurance on these people? I if, if we don't pass it, they'll pay more. Why? Why? Why wouldn't because we? the increase wasn't approved. Not approved. Look, the increase was approved in May. Yes. Go, go ahead and do the it. The insurance was approved in May. The insurance was approved in May, but the it doesn't have to match the budget. Okay, we spend money the all the time. That was not a part of the vote. Uh, that's right. We would, I'm saying that you all want all these changes. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But don't come in and say, well, we're going to change it right now. We're going to change it in a couple of days. We're going to come under compliance. Every policy that we have here in the city has been uh, been challenged. If you all want to change them, that's fine. But don't come in at the last minute snapping on all of us and say, let's do it now. This is snapping on us as much as it's snapping on you, Tom. Well, we're I'm going to say to this, we've had enough discussion. we got a motion, and we have a second call the roll. But i, I got one more question. Are you confident, you, the people that are responsible up here, that, uh, that the auditor yes, has told you the right way? Yes. You have Renee? Done? Renee, and why did I put it on speakerphone and for both of us to be there? Right. Okay. Mike said he, he definitely thinks there are things that we can change to in our computer system to utilize more. So we'll. So it'll provide we'll a better explanation. Twenty first century, if you will, but and if we can see more breakdowns like these guys are asking. For. But, but he, he didn't see anything that you're doing. That We're not doing anything wrong. Okay. Then I'm not can, can, can I? Can I what, just what beg one see? more moment? Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Entrance. And and read this one we waited? Are we still, this one are, piece. Are they're going to be out. The city this is employees. 
No, the insurance went into effect last month. Okay. Yeah, the that, fact that's that a separate paying, item from the right. budget. The, set, the fact that you know, you're, the budget <coughs> upped it to 500 from 400, that additional yeah. money is going to come out of the employee's pocket yeah. until yeah. the budget's This is an audit of hard enough time by Claire McCas McCaskill. It's from 2005, and it's one of the ones that the state auditor looked at with me in talking about this issue. Um, the city regularly uses water and sewer funds to compensate for negative balances and other city funds. City officials indicate that this has been approximately 20 years. It has been approximately 20 years since water and sewer rates have been reviewed. Water and sewer revenues should be used to fund the operations of water and sewer services only and should not generate profits to fund other services provided by the city. The existing water and sewer rate structures have allowed the city to, in effect, levy additional taxes without a vote of the citizens. And if you want to read the, the actual state statute on it, you'll hear much the same language. Okay. Monroe, you didn't... I'm not changing it. No, I'm not going to modify it. not going to change it. Got a second. <coughs> Call the roll. Mr. Elliott? Yes. Mr. Hoffman? No. Mr. Neener? No. Mr. Paulus? Paulus? Am I allowed to ask a question before I vote, or am I allowed to make it? No, no once roll call or stage, not. Um, no. Mrs. Smith? No. Mr. Stevens? Yes. Mr. White? Yes. Mr. Wood? Yes. Tally? Four, four. Yay, vote. Economic developer, I think they answered that when we'll ask permission to advertise for one. Okay. Uh, I, discussion. Um, my understanding was that you were going to present us with a description of, of that position. I can't for do, consideration. Well, I can do that. So you you have been pretty adamant that you don't have enough time to consider things that I bring to you. Um, I would ask the same. So I have not said anything about not, you okay. Not I'm sorry. I retract that last statement. No, I'll, I would like time to consider the the application. Who you're trying to hire? What that no, job description? I don't have is. anybody in mind. Any, no, the job, descri job description. description. What Any you see the positions that you would like to see over and above what I've got? I would. That would give you uh, from now until the next council meeting. Yeah, I mean, that to, this, to look at in this in this res with this respect to this, and we have time to get it to where yes, it's do. agreeable to everyone. Okay. I would like to see what this, what you're going to look at. Not you know, We're not that I don't think that you didn't look up other cities what they normally do, but I would like to see something put together What's that we are looking you? for. We're going to do sure, and that's why I would say. As a starting point, mm -hmm. I'll give you my submission, and then feel free to make additions, yeah. deletions that you saw. You all see fit. Okay, motion. Motion. Was or you made. can retract your motion. Motion was made, and I had a second. Did I have a second? second. Motion was made and second. Call the roll. Mr. Elliott. Yes. Mr. Hoffman. Reluctantly, yes, I guess. Mr. Neener? No. Mr. Polis? No. Mrs. Smith? No. Mr. Stevens? Yay. Mr. White? Yes. Mr. Wood? Yes. Motion passed. I'll take a motion to adjourn. Make a motion, we adjourn. I thought, she, I thought uh, Sharon said she had two things. That was it. That was, that was the second. <clears throat> Call the roll. Who seconded? Second. Larry. Larry. <coughs> Larry.
Yeah, she's going to come over and slap your face any minute now. 